Get ready to make a mug. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number six in our beginner pottery wheel series. Today, you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a mug. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. If you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, Here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the mug, which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems with centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay until the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using a pound and a half of Amico Stoneware 46 buff clay. Check the thickness with your needle tool. This mug is going to be trimmed on the bottom, so you want to leave at least a half an inch of clay. Bring the bottom out to the size that you want the base of your mug to be before pulling up the walls. Don't forget to compress the bottom. Anchoring your left thumb against your right hand helps to keep the pressure of your fingers stay consistent to keep the thickness of the sides even throughout your piece. Don't forget to get the extra water out with your sponge from time to time. If the water sits too long, it can start to weaken the clay. Slow and even pressure with your fingers is the key. Get the extra slip off to keep the side stronger longer. Smooth out the clay with a metal scraper and get rid of any extra water. Then, make a foot with the ultimate edger. I'm using the Giffen Grip a double edge trimmer and the ribbon tool.
After making my handle with the handheld extruder and my mug and handle are leather hard, it's time to attach them. Check out my video on making handles with the handheld extruder. To ensure your handle doesn't crack, it's important to score both the handle and the mug. Smooth out the clay and wait. Once the mug is bone dry, it's time to bisque fire in the scut kiln at cone 04. Wiping down your mug with a damp sponge gets any dust or particles off and helps the glaze bond to the mug. Apply a little wax resist to easily get any extra glaze off the bottom. Once your mug is dry, it's time to glaze. I'm pouring Amico Obsidian Glaze on the inside and brushing the outside with a hack brush. Mix your glaze well before applying. I always put the glaze through a strainer. It catches the clumps of glaze and debris that may be lurking in the glaze. Load up your brush and let the glaze float across your piece. After the first coat is dry, I'm applying a second coat on the outside only. If you're new to glazing, check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link in the description below. For the third coat, I'm pouring Amico Indigo Float on the inside and outside as well. After the third coat is dry, pour Amico Smoky Merlot on the top half of the outside. Once the glaze is all dry, it's time for Amico Textured Turquoise Rim Dip. I'm also glazing the bottom with an Artist Soft Fan Brush and the Textured Turquoise.
Let the glaze dry and make sure the bottom is glaze free before it goes back in the kiln for the final firing at cone 5. Let's see how the mug turned out. Here's the finished mug. The glaze turned out pretty good. I like how nicely it flowed down the handle and the side of the mug. There are no cracks in the handle and no cracks in the bottom. I think it turned out pretty cool. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own mug. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.